What, what do you make of his conduct this weekend? It's, it's bordering on ludicrous. It is, and it's exactly where we started, and we shouldn't be surprised. I mean, from the beginning, if you look at Trump's reaction to Russia, we've got General Mike Flynn back in the White House, back in the Oval Office, and with Russia all over our information systems and networks, and the administration refusing to lift a finger, refusing to say a word about this massive, massive compromise of our systems. And so two big issues, I think, here, Nicole. The first is, at some point, we've got to figure out what the reasons were for the past four years of the Trump administration refusing to do anything about Russia. And the second big issue is the enormous issue that is laying in wait for the Biden administration to get their hands around what the vulnerabilities are that we have that have gone unaddressed by this administration, how we shore up our defenses and how we fix all the things that have not only been left unlooked at, but have become progressively worse over the past four years. You know, Pete, I spend a lot of time wondering what the, the look back is going to be on this chapter and on the coverage of it. And, and I think from the press side, Trump was so successful at bullying the media that with all due respect to the other two guests here, I think the look back will be that we were too timid. Took us about 18 months to start calling lies lies. Took us way too long to stop broadcasting his paid propagandists. But I, I wonder if you think there's a, an analog on the Russia question. People are going to look back and say, these people were fired for investigating his ties to Russia. He wore them like a badge of honor. What do you think about that? I think that's absolutely true. And I don't think that is that behavior is limited to the media. There was a very telling editorial written by a member of the Department of Justice who was speaking about the pressures of working on the inside and the temptation to say we can do our job professionally and resist the politicization. That pressure of the administration and of Trump has proven to be so effective across every aspect of our society. All the natural checks and balances, whether that's within the executive branch, whether it's within Congress or the courts or the media, we we have seen time and time again the weaknesses in our system that some of the things we assumed would push back and corral and keep um, this unfettered abuse of power haven't worked as they should. So again, we've got a real reckoning no matter where you sit about what's been done. But yeah. I absolutely think there was an effort to, to stifle voices, anybody who would push back for any reason against what Trump was trying to achieve. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.